This is lesson 2.3, use line, circle, and rectangle. Let's begin with the line shape. Now, the line shape lets you draw a straight line between two points. Its properties are start x and start y for the starting point coordinates of the line segment, and end x and end y for the ending point coordinates. Now with line shapes, you can also have styles, including dash lines and line caps. Let's show you a JavaFX program now that uses line shapes. This is the line shapes program that creates line shapes and configures their properties. Let's compile and run this program now and examine its output. You can see that the program displays three colored lines on a light yellow background. The first line is a solid green line with square end caps. The second line is a solid blue line with rounded end caps and the third line is a dashed red line with square end caps. Let's show you how these line shapes were created and configured now. This statement uses a line constructor to create the first line segment with its endpoints starting at coordinates 2050 and ending at 450. The stroke color is green with a stroke width of 10. This line constructor creates the second line segment with endpoints 2080 and 480. The stroke color is blue, its stroke width is 10, and the line caps are round. The third line segment is created with a line constructor here at coordinates 2110 and 4110 with a red color, a dash array, and a stroke width of 5. And here is where we add the three lines to the root scene graph. Let's return to the call to get stroke dash array, which makes the red line dashed. In this statement, the two doubles 20D and 10D define what's called a dashing pattern. 20D is the number of pixels for each red dash, and the 10D is used to alternate between the opaque and translucent segments of the dash. Now the getStrokeDashArray method also accepts just one argument. Let's change it to 20D and see what happens. As you can see, you now get a fewer number of dashed lines. So remember, you may need to experiment with this method and these values to get the dashed look that you want. The next shape is circle, which defines a circle with a center point and radius. A circle's properties are center x for the horizontal center point, center y for the vertical center point, and radius for the radius of the circle. Let's show you a JavaFX program now that draws circles. This is the circle shapes program that creates three circles and configures their properties. Let's compile and run this program and examine its output. You can see that the program displays three circles on a light yellow background. Let's show you how these circles were created and configured now. Initially, the program defines values for a radius of 40, stroke width of 3, and stroke color of brown. The first circle constructor creates a coral circle at coordinates 120, 100, and the second constructor creates a yellow circle at 220, 100. The third circle constructor creates a pale green circle at coordinates 320, 100. Note that all circles have the same y-coordinate of 100 and different x-coordinates as they are drawn left to right. The program invokes setters to configure all the circles with the same radius, stroke color, and stroke width. And here's where we add the three circles to the root scene graph. Let's change the radius to 80 now in this program and observe what happens. You can see when we run the program that each circle now has doubled its radius and the circles overlap. The rectangle shape lets you draw a rectangle at a specific location with a width and a height. The default is square corners when the rectangle is drawn, but you can specify rounded corners if you want. A rectangle's properties are the xy coordinates of the upper left corner of the rectangle, the width and height of the rectangle, arc width, the horizontal diameter of the corner arcs, and arc height, the vertical diameter of the corner arcs. Let's show you a JavaFX program now that draws rectangles. Here's the Rectangle Shapes program that creates two rectangles and configures their properties. 
Let's compile and run this program and examine its output. You can see that the program displays two rectangles on a light yellow background. The first rectangle has square corners and the second rectangle is drawn with dashed lines and round corners. Let's look at how these rectangle shapes were created and configured now. Initially, the program defines values for a stroke width of 3, arc width and arc height of 30, and a brown stroke color. Rectangle constructors create the rectangle shapes. The first constructor builds a rectangle at coordinates 4040 with a width and height of 80, making the rectangle a square with square corners. The square has a light gray color with a stroke width of 3 and a brown stroke color. The second constructor builds a rectangle at coordinates 18040 with a width of 220 and a height of 100. To make the corners rounded and the rectangle colored, we call these setters for the arc width and arc height and the setter for the fill color. These statements set the rectangle's stroke color to brown, its stroke width to 3, and make the drawn outline dashes. And here's where we add the rectangles to the root scene graph. Let's change the values for arc width and arc height to be 50 now, and recompile. When we run the program, you can see what the output shows, and that is that the corners of the dashed rectangle are more rounded now.